Now then, Scunny fans, hope you're all all right. It's match day eve. Again, they're coming round thick and fast. Uh, gotta say, looking forward to tomorrow's clash again. Want to get uh, the midweek game out of our system. Um, and I still maintain we were robbed by the officials. Um, and, and having seen um, Wilson been brought down in the box on the video, how, how he was sandwiched and his, and his back leg clearly taken away from him, he should have had a penalty as well. So anyway, enough, enough said about that. We've got Curzon Ashton tomorrow at home, the Attis Arena, three o'clock kickoff. Our opponents are Curzon Ashton from the Tameside Stadium. What do we know about them? The seventh in the table on 50 points from 31 games. They've recently uh, beat Alperton 2-1. They lost 3-0 to Buxton. They drew 2-2 with Rushall and they had a cup game which they won 2-0 against Withenshaw. They were founded in 1963. Their nickname is The Nash. Their manager is Matt Bradshaw. What have we got to fear from them? At the moment, I think the problem with the, the fear is is within our own team and our own minds. I think what our players have somehow got to overcome is their mindset when they come out. And I do think it's probably going to be worse at home because it's you've got the pressure of the home crowd that that the expectations are extremely high on this team. And there's good reasons for that because of the, the players we've got, the wages that are they're allegedly on, etc. brings expectation. But with expectation comes pressure. And I can't help wondering if maybe that's part of the problem. I still maintain our biggest problem really has been losing Smith and with Roberts out as well. Um, those two key individuals, which are, are key players in our midfield arsenal, is is a big miss. But we should still have enough uh, strength in depth and the players that are quite capable of beating teams in this league, it's got to be said. Uh, and I genuinely believe that on our day, there's probably nobody can beat us. The trouble is... Like I said, I think it's the mindset. I think what we've got to do tomorrow is we've got to hit the ground running right from kickoff. We've got to push and try and get an early goal. Hopefully that'll make the crowd relax a tad more. Um, because once, as the game's going on, if you've not scored, um, pressure seems to build and that pressure then seems to... Uh, come from the fans onto the players and the longer it goes it's almost like it, the harder it is to get that goal that we, we need. I think an early goal will make the team relax more. Uh, I don't know. Let's just hope that uh, we can get the result. I'm predicting that we're going to win 2-1 and I'm going to go with Danny Whitehall scoring and Danny Elliott. Uh, to get the other. Um, I'm predicting uh, a relatively smaller crowd because of uh, the recent games. I've got a funny feeling it may drop below 3,000 tomorrow, which will be very sad because we need fans to get behind the team. We actually need them to get behind the team more when, when things aren't going as well as we do when they're going well. Um, but it is what it is. Hopefully, we'll see you all tomorrow. Hope Curzon have a safe trip up and their fans, if they bring in any. Uh, not too much luck for the game, though, Curzon, because we need the points. Take care, everyone. Up the iron.